Howdy y'all, it's me Garrett. I'm the farm manager over here at Coastal Sun. So uh, as you can see in this field, we have a stand of cover crops. And cover crops basically are one of the key components of organic farming. Basically, I, I like to re reduce it into three categories, cover cropping, composting, and cultivation. And this is so key to organic farming because basically you're, you're growing your fertility for the following year. And along with a myriad of other benefits, uh, cover crops prevent erosion from the physical action of the rain hitting the soil. And also the roots basically hold onto the soil and prevent it from running off during rain events. The roots also prevent leaching from the soil profile and catch nutrients um, that would otherwise run into waterways and pollute the waterways. Cover cropping suppresses weeds, so the, especially the grasses grow really fast and they can outcompete the weeds and hopefully reduce your time and labor for the following year for removing other weeds and in your seed bank. And uh, cover crops um, also basically provide roots for the ground to hold on to, uh, to stimulate the microbial populations below ground. And as, as we like to say, um, Bare, bare soil is anathema to healthy, to healthy soil. Um, whenever your soil is bare, it, it, you, you risk basically oxidizing and basically your soil is sitting there getting beat by the sun. Um, it, it, it can basically de degrade your soil over time. So bare soil is anathema to, to healthy soil. And um, so yeah, this year we, we decided to go with a heavier grass mixture because we actually had a pretty good substantial levels of nitrogen going into the fall. So we, we decided to add more grasses and the benefit to adding more grasses is that they grow more organic matter. The roots are a lot more vigorous and they spread out deeper. Um, and you, you basically just achieve more organic matter versus maybe a higher nitrogen content as legumes have a symbiotic relationship that fixes nitrogen. Um, into your soil. So this year we decided to go a bit heavier on the grasses and potentially in hopes that we'll be grazing it as well. We're irrigating our cover crop right now. We have these overhead pipes out in the field which is kind of unusual for this time. You don't usually irrigate your cover crop. You can usually just rely on the rains to do to, to provide the water for you. But um, this year's uh, kind of like last year it was, it's been a bit unpredictable so far. We've only had really one rain event that wasn't very substantial and there's nothing in the forecast, so we need to irrigate our cover crop, prevent the, the seeds from drying out and getting stunted. Um, so yeah, it's kind of telling of our time, just the weather is very unpredictable and it seems like every year it's kind of getting more and more extreme. Some years you get a ton of rain, some years it's like drought years, so um, basically farmers just can't really rely on uh, the natural weather events that had been reoccurring in years past we kind of need to act on a fly now and just adapt to our our surroundings so yeah unusual but uh we just uh we got to keep the the cover crop going and healthy because in the springtime when we incorporate it we want a big stand that's gonna basically provide the food and resources for the microbes below ground to feed on and to mineralize uh, the, the carbon into more uh, uptakeable forms and also into more stable forms of carbon that are going to increase your soil health, increase your soil organic matter and basically make it more like a sponge, make it more porous um, so it can hold more water, so it can drain better, um, so basically your plants grow better when you have more organic matter in your soil. So. Our, our goal is to provide the highest level of organic matter through growing this cover crop so that next year we can rely less on external inputs and rely just more on, on the fertility that we grew over the winter time here. Thank you guys. Thanks for listening.